Hello again everybody, it's Mel from Stocksbridge Guitar Tech and I'm here with part two of the finger picking lesson, uh, basic finger picking. The computer's still playing up so I still haven't got it fixed. I've had to order a new disk drive for it so I'm still struggling with that. So I apologise for the poor audio quality. I'm just having to use the microphone on the camera but anyway in part one we just looked at what the thumb was doing in this pattern so today we're going to take a look at the entire pattern so let's jump in and let's have a look at the whole pattern we'll just look at the right hand first and what I'm doing with the right hand so first of all I'm plucking the fifth and second strings together using my thumb and second finger so I'm plucking both those two together on beat one one two three four so then after that we're going to play the fourth string on its own just with the thumb and that's on beat two one and two one and two and then after that we're going to play the G string with the index finger on its own and that's going to be on beat 2 and so we got 1, 2 and then on beat 3 we're just going to play the 5th string again on its own that's one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Then on three and, we're going to play the second string on its own with the middle finger. One, two, and three three and one two and three and and then finally on beat four we're just going to play the fourth string on its own again so that's all together slowly one two and three and four one two and three and four one two and three and four and if we put that with our C chord we get one two and three and four one two and three and four again one two and three and four one two and three and four so like you did with the thumb I suggest you mute the strings and just practice the right hand so the count is one two and three and four one two and three and four one two and three and four again one is played with the thumb and the middle finger on strings five and two one then two is the thumb on its own on the fourth string 
2 and is the index finger on its own on the third string and thumb on its own on the fifth string 3 middle finger on its own on the second string and thumb on its own on the fourth string 4 1 2 and 3 and 4 1 2 and 3 and 4 and then practice it with the C chord then once you have that down it's just a case of moving to the F chord and playing the exact same pattern but this time we're starting with the thumb on the fourth string and we're putting the second finger on the first string but the pattern's the same the camp's the same one two and three and four one two and three and four So again you can practice that by muting the strings build your speed up slowly and then finally for this G remember we only need one finger for the G and we're skipping the fifth string so now we're going to have thumb on the sixth string and again second finger is on the second string same count again this time plucking the sixth and second strings together one and then thumb on its own on four two and then the rest is the same as before three one two and three and four just remember to miss that fifth string out one two and three and four one two and three and four one two and three and four and then do it with the chord And then it's just a case from there of slowly building your speed up. So you need to practice this very slowly at first until you get that pattern under your fingers. Remember that count is one, two and three and four. One, two and three and four one two and three and four that's all there is to it and there you have your first basic finger picking pattern uh, now like I said finger picking it's it's not easy it's it's quite a difficult skill to master I'm still getting to grips with it uh, because I've only been doing it myself for some six months or so but it's just a question of practicing just a little bit each day sat in front of the TV doing that one two and three and four one two and three, until it sort of becomes automatic and you're doing it without thinking really uh, but it does take time it does take perseverance it's not going to happen overnight for most people it might for the lucky few 
that for most people, this technique, it can take months and months and months, if not years of practice to get it to something like. So don't feel like you're not getting anywhere. It's just a case of doing it slowly, doing it really slowly at first. Get the pattern under your fingers and then gradually build that speed up. Just do it with the right hand at first. You may also find it useful to uh, film yourself on your smartphone, film what your right hand's doing, or use a mirror so that you can see which fingers are plucking which strings. You may find that helpful. But anyway, that's the end of this lesson. That's part two of two parts. So now you know your first basic finger picking pattern. So you can go away and practice that along with all of your other stuff. As ever, if you found this video at all useful or any of my previous videos, please remember to subscribe. It would help me out a lot. And if you do subscribe, remember to click the little bell. And that way you won't miss any future videos. Hopefully by next week I'll have this thing fixed, it'll have got a new hard drive in it and I will have got all my programs back up and running so we should be back to normal but we'll see, I'm not holding my breath. Anyway that's it from me today, thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the next one, bye for now.